And with that said, like I said, uh, Triple H, unfortunately, hasn't been able to be uh, to come back to uh, to his responsibilities as the head of NXT. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime in the near future. Like I said, like I said, just a few seconds ago, focus on your health. That's the most important thing. But that hasn't prevented NXT and WWE from announcing that they are taking their developmental brand back on the road after almost two years of not having any live events. Over two years, actually, of not having any live events for the company. And it's a very, very different version of the company that that uh, that didn't have any uh, live events two years prior. But now... WWE's third brand in NXT is just touring Florida during the weekends, during the upcoming weekends, June 10th, June, July, June, June and July, most weekends are there, tickets are available now, NXT is going back on the road, and overall, like I said, they're just touring Florida for now, but my point, the point that I want to make right here is NXT needs to start making an effort to tape their Tuesday shows on the road. Even if it's just Florida, even if it's just a Georgia, even if it's just that southern section, that region, if it, even if it just becomes a developmental or regional program, you gotta start touring, you gotta start making this brand into more of a bigger thing. Because right now, what I'm seeing at least on NXT TV is the fans at the Performance Center, I believe, that's where they tape, pretty much just hijack the show. Much like TNA Wrestling back in the day in 2010, uh, the when they had the Impact Zone, you have a bunch of regular fans who always go to the tapings, who always go to the shows, they know exactly what's going on each and every single week. And sometimes they take matters into their, into their own hands. We saw it uh, late last year when MSK were being booked as baby faces, and the fans in the performance center just booed them. They kept booing it, booing them, no matter what, no matter what kind of uh, creative direction they were going in, going on with the, with the with the characters. No matter if they were facing some of the biggest heels in the company. They boot them. And like I said, if you're paying a ticket, especially to a wrestling event, you are entitled to be able to do that, to cheer and boo and have fun and really just make up your own mind, make up your own decision on who is a babyface and who is a heel in your mind. But again, there were reports back then as well that... You know, fans actually organized themselves to 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 boycott MSK at the time, to boo that tag team at that time. Because they just felt like it, or because something completely aside from the storylines happened and that they weren't okay with. And uh, like I said, from my point of view, that's not cool. That's not the best way to look at things. And like I said, if you're going to have those type of fans who are just going to hijack their show and go into business for themselves, I'd rather the company just tour. Even if it's just regionally. Give the show a, a grittier look. Actually make it look uh, legit. Not that the Performance Center and, and, and the way they've structured things you know, um, isn't legit, but like I said, it's just a matter of NXT being able to tour because they have the machine behind them, they have WWE behind them, and they have the talent, and I've never been a fan, ever since TNA back in 2010, I've never been a fan of just staying in one location for a wrestling or for a sporting event, because this isn't just a TV show with a sporting event. Fans all around the country or all around the area should be able to enjoy it if you have the, the money and you have the resources to do so. So again, NXT is going on the road. Couldn't be happier. 
And also, it gives the, the their developmental talent, who, uh, by the way, they need a lot of these of this talent to really work on on their stuff because they are green, green, green. So you know, this builds them up. This gives them some experience of what might lie ahead for them if they ever make it to the main roster in WWE. So with that said, what do you think about my thoughts on NXT going on the road again? Do you think that they should tape their show on the road, or do you, th or do you think they're perfectly fine staying at a performance center? And I'm just delusional, and I'm just crazy for my thoughts with the fans, with the regular fans, that they have at their tapings each and every Tuesday night. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions on the comment section below.